So I have been, and I talked to one of my friends who happens to be transgender tonight. And we were discussing some of the things that have been going on with the conflict between natural born women and trans women. And before I even spoke to her, I was telling her how I had a conversation with somebody that yes, um, natural born women don't know what it's like to be a trans woman, but likewise trans women have absolutely no idea what it is like to be a natural born woman. And, you know, I, I feel like there's difficulties in being trans because I know from what my friend has told me about her life and her transition and things like that. However, I feel like there is some serious disrespect um, going on on both sides. But I, I will say this, as a natural born woman, I hear terminologies that I know are blatantly disrespectful cis calling a natural born woman a cis woman or um a um breastfeeding or a breastfeeder or a birther or having a woman's vagina be called a third hole or a bonus hole those are disrespectful terms another disrespectful term is saying um assign assigned uh a female at birth um these are terminologies that are very disrespectful who do they think assigned a woman to be a natural born woman from birth the mitochondrial dna that is ancient is what assigned that woman or that young girl or that baby infant female to be a woman for the future at birth. So I don't know the terminology where they think that somebody assigned a natural born woman at birth aside from the divine creator and the mitochondrial DNA. But I feel like instead of people being on the same page and actually wanting to fight, um, whether you be a trans woman or an actual natural born woman, um, like nobody's on the same page. They don't wanna be on the same page. I even see, I see now, even in the fem feminist movement, certain feminists that think that it's okay for um fake transgender people because that's what they are the ones that are going into female prisons um lying and saying they're transgender just so they have um opportunity to be able to violate natural born women in prisons and the system structure is allowing it um that's one thing violating children in locker rooms and things like that when the very simplest solution is have three different dedicated bathrooms one for transgender people one for women or young girls and one for men it's a very easy solution but clearly the system structure that structures don't want to do that because they love the conflict they love for there to be a conflict. Even transgender women I've spoken to are okay with there being an actual place for um, new transgender people that would have their own set apart place. But what's happening is that you have people going into these different movements, just like you have uh, women going into the feminist movement and their whole purpose is to, is to just totally destroy what women have fought for. 
the same way that you have fake transgender people who have dicks and balls going into the movement who know they're never going to transition claiming to to be a male wanting to transition into female and they know goddamn well they don't want to they're infiltrating the transgender movement making them look bad like this is a system this is a st system structure that is trying to pit each other against each other and you have like i said you have people that are outraged natural born women who have a right to be outraged when they're being violated in locker rooms when they're being violated when it comes to sports when it comes to different things that women have fought for and then being shit on so instead of making third categories right which is what certain system structures or certain movements are supposed to be doing they're they're infiltrating into other uh, other spaces when there couldn't be there can be a third a third system structure which is for trans people set apart leaving women and young girls to have their protection that they also need when it comes to their their own advancement when it comes to safety and i i really feel very sad because you have part of the feminist movement who are they're condoning women being violated i don't understand it i really don't understand it and then you like i said you have trans women who want to protect other trans women and then you know they're also being violated as well and manipulated so i don't know how this is going to end i don't know where this is going to end i just know that like there's no there I, I see from both sides I, f I feel like um there's a certain group of trans women that don't give a fuck about you know the the trials and tribulations of natural born women they could care less and they want to they want to stomp and trod all over the rights of women which is fucking unfortunate because the whole matter of the fact is that if you keep on shitting on natural born women's rights you you ultimately are shitting you're, you're shitting where you sleep that's basically what that is and you have to stop doing that but you have you have infiltrators you have infiltrators in the trans movement um who you, you dudes that know they they never in a fucking million years ever want to trans you know transition they don't fucking want to do that it's all about violating women they get off on violating women, natural born women, and they jumped into that movement. And they're making actual trans women look bad. You know, I agree with certain trans people that are saying, hey, we just want to live our lives. Yes, I, I get it. But so do natural born women. We want to we want to live our lives without our our bodies being violated with our without our rights being um put underfoot and annihilated and our advancements so you know where where do we go from here <laughs>